This is David Holt, RN, IV Consultant. I'm going to discuss how to give 100 cc's of an antibiotic such as Ertpenin or one of the other Merims and how you can give that dose in its entirety. You do of course have two ways that you can give IV antibiotics using an IV pump. One is to use a one tubing system which requires that after your bag is empty you stop the IV pump briefly and you replace your empty antibiotic bag with a flush bag and program your pump to infuse for an additional 25 cc's and then hunky dory you should have given the full dose and you can flush your patient. The better way is to use a two IV tubing system and when the uh, antibiotic is complete the flush bag will kick in provided you program the volume to be infused correctly. You've got a 100 cc bag of antibiotics typically for the ertapenins and so you need to use Holt's IV rule number two which is the volume in that IV bag 100 plus the roughly 10% overfill so that's 10 cc's plus the mainline IV tubing, typically 22 cc's, plus your secondary IV tubing, which is usually 8 to 9 cc's, and any extension tubing or dead space in your central line or PIX line. You're going to come up with a figure of approximately 140 to 145 cc's or milliliters, and you will program that number into the volume to be infused. Those of you who don't know how to calculate your IV rate can do another course on that subject. All the textbooks include typically 20 pages on how to calculate the IV rate. They include nothing on calculating your volume to be infused, which is what you need in order to give a full dose of IV antibiotics. But let me save you reading 20 pages. The IV rate for your Merim typically is given over 30 minutes, so the 100 cc's needs to go in a rate of 200 per hour. Now that infusion is going to take roughly 45 minutes because you're actually going to be infusing about 140 to 145 into your patient before the IV pump clicks back over to the primary rate, which can be anything from a TKO of 3 cc's per hour to, it could be, 150 if you've got a sepsis patient, or it could be 50 cc's per hour if you've got somebody who's beginning to take PO liquids. So make sure that the entire antibiotic goes in at the correct rate and that you leave none of it in the IV tubing.